Hi, I'm Holly Perkins from Exercise TV and a New Balance official trainer. I've put together a sports warm-up specifically geared for runners and walkers. You will find that when your body is properly primed for exercise, you'll move better, have more energy, and be injury-free. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the floor. All you need today is an exercise mat. You're gonna start on your back with your knees bent, feet on the floor, and take your arms way up over your head. I want you to really actively reach long, lengthen through that waistline, and continue reaching throughout this movement. Take both of your knees over to the side and just let them relax down towards the floor. Let your body weight just release into the floor. You're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch through that waist and possibly down into that hip slightly. Take a deep inhale. Exhale and just release. And we're just gonna take this over to the other side for the same stretch. Lengthening those hands away from the body. Enjoying that stretch through the side, back and hip. And we're gonna make this movement active. What you're gonna do is take that top knee, open it to the point where you feel a gentle stretch through those inner thighs. That second leg is gonna naturally follow over to our starting position. And we're gonna go back and forth just like this for five repetitions. Lengthen out through that abdomen. I want you to take a few deep inhale and exhales. Really lengthen through the waist. And remember, you're just opening those knees to the point where you begin to feel a little bit of a stretch on those inner thighs. It's a great movement to prepare the legs for running and walking. Lengthen through that waist. And last repetition here. And relax, great. Let's come back to knees to center. Our second movement is runner's leg cycles. You're gonna bring one knee in towards the chest, press out through the heel, lift that leg straight up over you to the point where you feel a gentle stretch through the back of your thigh. This is your hamstrings. It's important that this knee is long here. It's not locked and it's not bent. Keep it lengthened so that the energy of that leg is reaching up towards the ceiling. Then we're gonna release back down and repeat this for five. So we're coming in, pressing out, lift straight up, and back down. Now, the angle of the stretch here is dependent on that hamstring. If you feel a stretch there, just bring it to a lower angle. As you warm up and feel prepared, you can just take that leg to a slightly higher angle so that you get a stretch through the hamstring and calf. Great, and up, and we're gonna do one more. And relax down and switch sides, same thing. Knee in, press out, up, and down. Make sure that you're breathing here. Deep inhale, complete exhale. Your leg is gonna get warmed up. That's the point here. Your thigh may actually get a little fatigued and that's actually proper to help you with your warm up. And we're gonna do one more. And relax down, great. Let's flip over onto our hands and knees for cat and cow. You're gonna place your hands directly under your shoulders, knees under your hips. I want you to take a deep inhale Exhale, and you're gonna round your spine up towards the ceiling. I want you to draw in through your abdomen, allow a stretch through your back, and let your chin to come in towards your chest. The second half of this movement is to allow the belly to drop to the floor. Inhale, look forward, and allow a slightly exaggerated curl in that lower spine with the back muscles relaxed. We're gonna repeat this for five cycles. So we exhale and inhale on that cow. Exhale and inhale. Now remember, we're making this active. So you wanna contract your back muscles slightly here and contract those abdominal muscles here. And open, great, one more cycle. Exhale and inhale and relax, great. Open your knees slightly, point your toes, bring the toes together. I want you to shift your weight back onto your heels Walk your hands out, bring your forehead to the floor, and we're gonna hold for three breaths in child's pose here. Take a deep inhale, exhale, and let your hips reach back, heavy onto the heels. And again, inhale, exhale, walk those hands away from the head, keeping the arms off the floor. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Great, use your hands to bring you to an upright position, and we're gonna move into active runner stretch. Just bring one leg forward, bring both hands out onto that forward knee, and I want you to let your hips move forward into space, just releasing, draw up through the abdomen, and you're gonna feel a gentle stretch through the front of the hip, 
of the leg that's in the back. Nice, easy, gentle stretch. We're gonna make this movement active by pressing off this front leg to return to the starting position. We're gonna do 10 cycles here. And pressing back. So this is an active stretch. It is not ballistic movement. I want you to keep control when you come into your stretch, and I want you to really power on this forward leg when you push back. So we're getting an active stretch on that hip, and we're getting a powerful warm up on that front leg. Lift up through the abdomen. Make sure that you're breathing. And really make sure that you're pushing off this front leg to come back. One more. And relax, and we're just gonna switch sides. Same thing on that other side. Leg forward, hands on that knee, and we're just gonna move in and press back for 10. Lift up through those abs. Make sure that you're feeling a little bit of a stretch through that front hip of the leg that's in the back. Lift up on those abdomen. Really power into that front leg. Make sure that that's a comfortable, easy stretch when you're in the stretching phase here. And we got two more. One more. And relax, great. We're gonna come up onto our feet. I want you to take your feet pretty wide here, about three feet, a little wider than the shoulders. Toes forward, one hand at the top of each thigh. And you're gonna sit down into this movement slightly. You're gonna shift your weight over to the right and you're gonna sit deeply down into that hip. Send the hip back. You're gonna feel a stretch through that inner thigh and let's switch sides. Same thing, other side. Lengthen out through that inner thigh, abdomen drawn in. We're gonna make this active by going side to side for 10 cycles. Reach those hips back. Power off that bent leg and allow a little bit of a stretch on the inner thigh of the straight leg. This exercise is great to warm up the legs, the hips, and the pelvis for running. It really improves your lateral stability, warms up those quads, hamstrings, and hip flexors. Keep those abs in. Great. We got one more. And relax. Great. Next exercise, we're just going to rotate so that your feet are separated into a split lunge. Notice that you're on the ball of the foot in the back. The heel is raised, very important. Drawn to your abdomen, arms are gonna reach up. We're just gonna let that knee drop to the floor. Power off both legs, come back to that starting position for 10. Drop down and press. If this is a little challenging for you, you can bring your hands to the side for balance, down to your waist. And then when you feel more comfortable with the movement, just bring your arms right back up. Draw in for those abs, allowing that knee to come down towards the floor. And one more. And relax, switch sides, same thing. On the ball of the foot in the back, posture tall, abdomen tight, and just let that knee drop for 10. Keep your weight evenly distributed. So you're using both that front leg and the back leg. Make sure you're breathing. Again, your legs may get a little tired here. That's the point of a warm up. We want them nice and warm and ready. One more. And relax. Last movement. You're gonna step together. Come down into a crouched position. Your heels are off the floor and your weight is heavy down into the legs. Fingertips on the floor and ideally, we'd like to keep the fingertips here. You're gonna power into those legs. Let the hips lengthen up towards the ceiling. And we're just gonna hold for a forward bend stretch here for a moment. If the stretch is a little too intense for you, you're just gonna bring your hands to the top of your thighs and raise your chest slightly. Once you're comfortable, work those fingertips back down to the floor. So we're gonna make it active. We're gonna come back to that starting position and we're gonna repeat this for 10. Power those legs in to bring those hips high. Let your fingertips reach down towards the floor. Make sure you're breathing. Really exhale and down. Now again, your legs are really gonna get warmed up here. They may get a little fatigued. That's great because as soon as you finish with this warm up and you go out for your run or walk, you'll see why it's valuable. Your legs are gonna be ready. You're gonna move better. You're gonna burn more calories and you're gonna feel great. Keep those abs drawn in. We got two more. Last one. And relax. From here, I just want you to slowly roll your hips up. Unroll that spine, coming up to a standing position. And there you have it. You should feel ready and warm for your run or walk. I'm Holly Perkins. For more of my workouts, check out exercisetv.tv 
and I will see you next time.